Good morning, everybody. So today we are going to be grilling outside, and I'm going to show you what we're making. All right, you guys, so we have steak. We have some... It's marinated steak. Yep, chorizo. We have peppers. And then I am making... Well, they call it chorizo argentina. They call it chorizo argentina at argentino. the place. Argentino. Argentino. Well, argentino. And then tortillas, queso. I want that one right there. Why? What one? Yeah. What one? No. Oh, you gotta stuff them with cheese. Oh yeah, we just stuff them with cheese. Yeah, but I gotta peel them in a second, honey. Yeah. What ones? Okay. Do you have a bowl or something? Look at them right on top of here. Daddy, are they like that? Straight? Yep, straight little thin sticks. Oh, that's a Thin ones. Is it like this thin, like this? Like as straight as your finger? Yeah, remember the ones you got me earlier? Oh, yeah! They're like this. Alright, you guys, everything is almost done. Come on, you guys, I gotta go get a knife. And then we got our fresh pico, pico de gallo, limon, peppers. Of course I'm seeing by you. I gotta go get a, a knife to cut that cheese real quick. We got two what? They didn't have fresh ones today. Okay, you guys, the food's almost ready. And we absolutely love the outdoor kitchen um, because food just tastes better when you grill it over a fire anyways and we love eating outside so I'm gonna grab a knife real quick because um, we have a different type of queso and I need to cut it up now we are just now sitting down to eat we woke up like three hours ago three or four hours ago but we have so many chores that we have to get done and the kids have chores that we have to get done they have to get done so oh, where's she's going Okay, this is a guava tree, and when fresh guavas come out, you can see some of them are dried up right now, like you see one there and one there. But our kids love to climb it, but also, man, the fruit in this tree is so delicious. Mm. It did? Yeah. So these guava wow. trees in Mexico are really cool because you can see how they grow, kind of unique. And the branches are very strong, but they're flexible, so the kids love playing on these trees. This one's kind of small, but some people in our ranch, oh my gosh, they're huge. But this is the best kind of tree for climbing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and, and for swings. Be too high. <laughs> Come on. You little stinker. Beep, beep. You guys get pretty high. When we first got here, P couldn't even get up this ledge. Now she just gets up there like nothing, huh? I bet a lot of people who grew up in Mexico as children have memories of climbing those trees because that is just like a cool thing here to be able to climb those trees really high. Oh, you overcooked them? You <laughs> did. And this is amazing. Good, Pee Pee? Good, everybody? And uh, let me see the pepper you're going to eat. This pepper tastes spicier than usual. What's in it? Dad, cheese. Okay, show me how you eat it. Mmm. Mama. And then we've got a banana pepper. That one's my favorite. Guys, everything is ready. Quesadillas. Got our peppers. 
I got a pop for you right here. Yummy. We only have four plates. No, we got. I got another one under there. Yeah, you're. There's no. They're already full. All the cups are full. Abby, grab a limon. Gotta put your pico on top. Is it really spicy to have hummus? No. Oh, I can't wait to go to a property. Annabelle, I got you the pickled jalapenos too. Okay. True. So I'm going to have to go to a property soon. It's time to look. You got to put some of that on there. Good. It was? Alright you guys, we're all done eating and obviously this is all the laundry from this morning. Um, but right now we don't have water, so we are using our water tanks that we have filled when we do have water so that I can do my laundry. So here's our tank right here, and then here's the laundry room. And so this hose connected to the tank goes back into the laundry room. Um, and then right here, I'm going to close the valve, and the water in the washing machine stops. And then I'll start my... And then the washing machine will start because it's full. Water tanks here in our ranch are a must, um, and we have, I think we have about four of them right now that get filled daily. Yeah, we have four of them right now that get filled daily. And then um, it's important because sometimes you don't have water and you have to have your tanks full. It's just a part of living here. Also part of living here is, look at, I gotta like crouch through all this laundry to get back into the front yard. A part of living here is hanging your laundry to dry. And that is a chore all of us just love. Not really, but we have to get it done. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in the laundry room now because I shut the valve. So here was the hose that was connected to the tank in the back. And as you can see, it's full now. Okay, so um, we're all done eating. I got my laundry going. Um, the other day we had a sick chicken, so I wanted to show you guys what we do when we have um, sick animals on the farm, and my kids also have to help with this because sometimes if my husband's not here, um, they have to do it. And yes, I mean they, because my oldest daughter is less afraid of it, so I normally hold the chickens and then she knows the dosage. <laughs> And I don't, I just don't like giving them shots because they kind of freak out a little bit. But I'm going to show you guys um, what they did for that. Let me go get another one. Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh, where did he find that ball? <laughs> I threw it for him. He won't let me have it. And about 0, 0.5 ml. Yeah, that, that syringe is, a, is small enough then. And then you're looking for her breast ball, her breast, right? Yep. Dad must be, oh no, he's not as good. I was going to say no. You got to hold her neck, huh? I'm telling you right now, that'd be the coolest job in the whole ranch to ring the church bell. Are you going to give the chicken the next injection? Yeah or no? Yeah. <laughs> are you scared? No, you're not scared of those chickens, are you? <coughs> I'm in the 
So we're gonna do 10 mLs because that the water tank, the water um, for the chickens holds five gallons. Whoa, that's a big cap, Daddy. Maybe that's big. Amanda will go. Oh, she probably doesn't tolerate it. I'll hold that one. Well, if I put it back in there, I gotta take the needle off of it. Like this, and then we could just squirt it in there. And then we can't use the eggs that they lay for how many days? Like three days. This will take a while for it, for it to go in their system. It'll probably take a good, hour, a good day or so. Cristiano! Here they come, they buffers you. Oh, the thing is already so much better. Oh, it's already my game, game for that? Yes, I can hold your game. They still got a lot of food. No, but they need some in this one too. Don't forget that plastic bag. Grab that when you come out, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> we gotta reload it in here with some grass today too. Hi Bun Buns. Good morning everybody. Good morning. Okay, we're done feeding them, so we have food. Okay, and we gotta we gotta water them because the water. Don't forget that bag that fell in here. Okay, grab your bucket. Got your bag? Yes. Alright, let's go. Okay, you have a way smarter way of locking that. Why did I not know that? Dad's got to fix those bunny cages soon too, huh? They're not back here. Dad called them. Let's go fill up the water. Is that for the chickens though, buddy? Or is that for the bunnies? It's for the bunnies. Okay. That was nice you filled that for her. Thank you. You sure you can? Animal, don't hold on right there. That's why it has a handle. So she has a smart way of opening it. Yeah, I do that every day too. I didn't know that. I always stick my hand on the top and I always get cut from that thing. Yeah. It's always easier when you just do this. And why is the water in a different spot? We have to put their fresh grass back in here for them today. They're like, yes. Animal, is that full? What? It has a leak. Uh oh. Okay. Hand me it, hurry. No, it doesn't have a leak. You you just overfilled it. Oh, Please. yeah. Let me
All right, you guys, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe. And as always, please leave in the comments if there's anything else you want to know about our life in Mexico or anything you'd like us to show us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Dile adios. Adios. <laughs>